So, Yasser, you started a program called Give Me a Voice. Tell us about that. Okay. So when, when I realized that there is a lack of resources for families to help their kids, I wanted something that I can offer for nonprofit organizations, for social responsibilities, for corporates. I tried several things with these organizations. They, I think it's like, very normal, but they didn't prefer to pay for something forever. They prefer something specific with clear cut limits. They would start from here, will end here. We will do one, two, three. The beneficiaries would be one, two, three. So, also with my work, we start realizing and seeing the results of the verbal behavior approach, how the child life and the family life will change when the child starts expressing his needs. So man training and enabling the child to express his need as a human being was very important for me. So the result of all these things that we de I decide or we decide to create a specific program that will target the ability to talk or to express the needs of the child. And we made it like three months in total, 72 hours. And I start going to these organizations and big corporates we were very lucky to meet um, Dr. A very wonderful guy. His name is Dr. Fahad Al Aliyan. He is a like the social responsibility officer in a bank here in Saudi Arabia called Bank Al Jazeera, and he believed in this program and he supported us with, for ten kids and. That's where we started, Give Me a Voice. With the first 10 kids program finish, Dr. Fahad met with the mothers of these kids, and he was very amazed by the reaction of the mothers or the families of these kids, how the lives of the kids and their parents were changed because of the child now can speak can express his needs. He's no longer in need to cry, to hit himself, to, to throw himself on the ground, because now he has a very reliable tool to communicate his needs, his, his, his thoughts, his emotions. And that was a life changer for these kids and their families. So, the next step that Dr. Fahad took was to decided to continue to help us with these kids. We started increase the number of sponsors of the program. Um, now we have a contract with a nonprofit organization to train a hundred child from the Give Me a Voice program. So what starts wow. with yeah, with small idea, it's now a huge opportunity for like we could reach hundreds of kids in the new, new future. So that could be a very good idea for other practitioners around the world. If you want the nonprofit organizations or big corporates to sponsor these kinds of programs, from my experience, based on my experience in Saudi Arabia, offer them something specific, something limited, not limited means a little, it means limited with clear start, clear end, this amount of hours for this um, specific goals. That would make them, that would make them more accepting. That would persuade them to to sponsor these kind of programs.
Yeah, that makes sense. That's great advice, actually, because they would then be able to see the results, maybe even quicker yeah. with short-term yeah. goals. Yes. And that's such an important program, Yasser, because it's, like you said, it is um, getting their needs met, but it's also affecting the whole family dynamic. You know, the yes. parents sometimes feel so helpless when they don't know what their child needs. Absolutely. And that, that frustration on their side too. And, you know, with giving them a voice, they're able to then communicate and it just grows because we know that when you start with man training, which is training to request for things or things that you don't want, then it just opens the doors to more communication, to Absolutely. adding words to those sentences, to then maybe asking questions and um, engaging in back and forth communication. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we saw and witnessed with all our kids now in, in Namai. I will tell the parents, you are the boss of your child therapy program or plan. The only one thing that I won't be able to negotiate, negotiate about is the child being able to communicate his basic needs. This is something I cannot negotiate about. Mm. It's an ethical issue to start working on anything before my training. I would start with my training and with other areas. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing for me in Namai, this is our experience, this is our vision, to make the child able to communicate his basic needs. Because what I think is the, 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 the most important thing that, oh, not, the, 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 the most important ability that make us different or unique compared to other animal creatures or other, um, other creatures is that we can communicate in a sophisticated language. Each kind, each species has its, uh, has its own language, but our language is more sophisticated. So when my kids cannot communicate their needs, I think this is something very urgent for me to address. So that's the basic of Give Me Voice work. Mm -hmm. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.